Hey, where'd you? Ow! How did they do? Rhetorical question. I'll find out after I bag them up and collect my UFO bounty. They move too fast. Focus, Jaime. Before they... Uh, get up! We have a thing on Earth called personal boundaries, which means no touching until you get permission, or there are consequences. Great job, Jaime. What part of training was that? It... it worked. That's all that matters, right? Um... Don't! I'm human! Hey, me! I'm going to kill you, Jaime! Hold on to your butts! What were you thinking? I wasn't. Thanks for the risking. We're not safe yet, dude! The car is trashed in! What the what? Do you see that? The sky is changing channels! What exactly happened back there, Amy? I don't know. Those aliens all crushed their ships and then one came running at me and... Is that the future? I hope not. To get somewhere safe. No! Look! Lights! A town! We're saved! Uh huh. Let's wait till we get there first. Just going from one horror movie to another, huh? This is a terrible idea. Does anyone else's phone work? You hear that? That's the sound of a car about to die. We gotta stop. I hit that alien awful hard. Heck yeah you did, Puckle. A few of these rooms are okay. You all want to share? That might be a good... Nope! I like MySpace! Me too! MySpace! Also enjoy, dude. I'll take this one. You can have the room over there. Well, we're sharing a room. No way I can be alone after all that. Read my mind. No, but I definitely can now. Stop that. Home sweet home. How are you so calm, Jaime? We almost got killed by aliens. Aliens! Naomi, just a few months ago, half the people in El Paso were turned into monsters by some demon living under the city. So this seems pretty normal comparatively. Should I be freaking out instead? Probably. We almost died out here. We still might. We won't die, Naomi. I'm here to protect you. You know, I threatened Paco to get in the car and come find you. So, so far, I'm the one protecting you. Should I pay you back? Yes. Start by not talking. Why would I do... Lucky I'm even kissing you right now. I'm still mad at you. That was really dumb what you did back there. I know. I didn't think. Sort of just leaped into action. Next time, remember your cape, tough guy. Huh. Right. It's like that part seemed so easy. All I had to do was run and yell and not get zapped. Easier than what? I don't know. Normal life? Listen, I do get it. That whole thing, being nervous about the future, sometimes it 
It's all I can do to keep from running, screaming down the street. Could have fooled me. I can't help that I keep secrets better, Jaime. While you have no poker face at all. Can't hear you. I'm asleep. Uh-huh. Quitter. gonna wait until we get home to brush my teeth. Our phones are afraid, Naomi. Of course they are. Can we get out of here? Well, you have to admit, it was a pretty good vacation up until the whole UFO thing. Brenda and Paco seem to be getting along better. They're so weird to me. Is that weird? No, you haven't seen them all summer. You're readjusting. Not that. I mean, when's the last time you heard one of them threaten the other? Okay. What was that supposed to be? Stay here. Nope. Bad plan. I'm coming with. Probably just animals. It's fine. Famous last. Sorry, had to pack my... Oh, crap. Hi there. You don't belong here! Whoa, calm down. We didn't know anyone actually lived here. We're going to get in our car and go. Cool? Nah, cool. The car is ours. And you are too. Run! What is this? Horror movie number three now? I will beat up little kids if they try to stab me. We can outrun them. We better, dude, cause they don't look like they're gonna listen to reason. And that one with the knife looks super stabby. We lose them through there. Loop back around to the car and get out of here while they're looking for us. Why did they mess with the car? Please don't jinx us. Aw oh, man. See? You don't belong here. We're aware. So if you let us go, we won't say a word. We will be gone and you'll never hear from us again. Too late for that, chum. The man in charge only sends people here for a reason. That's just it. We're not supposed to be here. We got attacked last night and... Can I please put my hands down? Why don't you leave them up instead? Nothing happens in Moon A without a reason. The man has seen to that. Who is that? Be patient. If he brought you here, you're bound to find out. Why did he bring you here? You'll find that out too. Likely the same reason. Is he your leader or something? More like our jailer. Oh, not the car! It's miles of pure desert to anywhere resembling civilization. So, barring a miracle, you're not leaving. None of us is. Until he says so. Okay, let's split up the winnings! Sorry, Squeaks. These kids are ours. You know the rules. Jim, I'm gonna make you eat that shotgun if you keep talking down to us like that. As always, Tyler, you're more than welcome to try. Please, you're the biggest coward of the bunch. Look at your head shaking. Let's all dial it down. This is fast becoming untenable. Please, stop showing off, son. You trying to impress them? Oh, cram it, Fabian! Seriously! All I'm saying, Grandpa, is we have to live and work together. So why shouldn't we do it as painlessly? This is like listening to you two argue, but worse. Jaime, 
Maybe it's time you talk to your friend. The blue one? Yeah, that normal life you want won't happen if we're all dead. Excuse me, what are we supposed to do now? Wait for the sun to set, grow old with us, then get young all over again until you don't even remember your old lives. Hey, okay. What if we run for it? Once it gets dark, it's not like they can find us out there. Our phones are dead. We have no idea where we're going. And that's before the UFOs and the sky getting all trippy. We need to take their weapons. Great idea, Jaime. Do we start with the gun-toting grandparents or the feral children? I miss when all we had to worry about was aliens. It's time! They're here! You really gotta stop jinxing us, Naomi! Well, there goes our problem. At least the aliens are going after the creeps instead of us. It's not a happy ending, but I'll take it. Those are kids. We can't just let them take them. Kids who tried to kill us, Naomi. We can't fight those things. Didn't stop you from trying last night, did it? That was dumb. You said it yourself. They left their guns. Naomi, get back! Ah, oh, jeez. Don't shoot the UFOs! Get down! Hey, what are you? I'm protecting you! You're so getting a lecture from me when this is over. Oh, uh, wow! Good shooting, Naomi! I did that? Who wants to do the honors of opening these up then? Me? These jerks broke my car. I'm gonna break theirs. There's no one else in the ship. Just this alien. Who definitely doesn't look like an alien up close. Of course it's people in suits. It's always people in suits. Some guy with a grudge against humanity or a... Huh? them again. So who was flying the ships? They were. I mean, before that, when they all got airlifted? The <coughs> man in charge. Hey, look who's awake. And who dropped all their guns? Keep talking. The man, our boss, recruited us. To do what? Cosplay as Martians? I don't know what that means. It was a simple job, he said, with a huge payday. How much? Seventy years, give or take. We'd been left to die. Bunch of old cooks our families couldn't bother to visit more than once a year. Far away enough they wouldn't have to feel guilty about it. I was there nine years, living here in Mooney. It's like a paradise by comparison. I was desperate for any distraction at all. I took weaving classes for God's sake. That's when I saw it. That stupid flyer that changed our lives. The man. He had a lot of strange questions. But finally he picked the eight of us, sent a shuttle, said it was all top secret. So we snuck out, went to the desert one night, and we never came back. When we got there, 
He'd left these suits for us, told us if we put them on, we would see what he had to offer. What could make you go where some stranger told you and do something because he said to? He could reverse our aging, turn us young again, give us a second chance. And you believed him? I didn't really care. What did I have to fear anymore? I was waiting to die. With the suits on, we could run, punch, steal. It felt good. The longer I wore it, the better I felt. He sent us to collect things for him. Money to fund his grand experiment. Government laboratories to steal components for his great machine. Fuel cells for our suits. They're powered by something called Tachyon Energy. It moves us through time like we're greased. Faster or slower. Especially for us. The longer we were in the suits, the more we aged in reverse. The energy spun our clocks backward. It was addictive, being young again. We couldn't stop. Until we got too young. Then we were trapped, and he offered to flip the switch. Reverse the stream so we'd age. We said yes. We'd age too far, then he'd flip the switch. He split us into two groups. One young, one old. Shifting back and forth until... Well, you can see what's happened. We were trapped. Exactly like you. Except we're not trapped. We can walk right out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't feel it yet, can you? happening again. What the hell is going on? Ha! The man is starting another trial. There are some side effects. Mooney is the only place that's truly safe. So now you're trapped here forever. Like us. Tell me how to stop him. Stop him? You can't stop him. He controls everything. Besides, he's only getting started. <laughs> <laughs>